Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Hi, girly. You want that? Huh? Don't hit this stick. There we go. Simulate that it was alive. I bet it's probably glad it's not. This Rhino Viper uh, doing her thing. This is Viper Keeper move over in that area. Well, I think there are some other critters in this area. Wow. They never cease to amaze me for their speed of strike. I'm just feeding Russell's labor. I will feed you. you know, someone mentioned in one of the previous videos that they saw a fang hanging out. Uh, I was unable to locate that uh, thing that she discarded. Uh, I'm sure it's there in the substrate somewhere, or perhaps underneath her, but while well, she's been sitting over there in recent weeks, I'm not... Turner vipers don't like to be poked and prodded, um, so I'm not likely to, to do that. Uh, she's rather calm and and generally uh, pleasant to deal with uh, unless you have to take her out and move her around and stuff and then she gets pretty riled up. I don't know, we saw her in a pretty foul mood recently when we disturbed her and then she was huffy and puffy for the rest of the day. Yeah, they get really huffy and puffy. Let's see if I can swap water dishes. Oh. <laughs> My mouth is full. Why are you bothering me? Sorry, girly. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to drop that. Okay. to make a rhino viper huffy and puffy. Indeed.
do you think you're doing? Are you inching closer over here looking for something to eat? Of course. I know, I see. Oh, you're... Oh, we're going to get a hula. You're going to hoochie coochie into this substrate, huh? He was sneaking over here trying to get my attention. He was sitting way back, weren't you? Oh, you're going into ambush mode. Look at you. You're chubby. You're not getting fed this week. Neither is the girl who's shaking her head at me over here. Huh? I'm so cute. Yeah. Look at me. Look what I'm doing. Give me food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I open the cage, he would lunge forward. I'm s he has done that before. Oh, well, that was, that was a definite uh, give me food. How nice, huh? That was very nice of you, but it's not going to get you anything. <laughs> oh, I'm, come on. I'm sorry, dude. You know, I just give these guys, you know, a, a fuzzy. And since they're ambush predators and stuff, they don't move around a whole lot. They're not like one of the lapids. And so they have a tendency to build up, you know, it provides more energy than their body needs. And that gets turned to fat. Meanwhile, she's giving us the stink eye. Yes, indeed. So, what I think we'll do is we'll just shut this and continue okay. on our quest and make her okay. a little okay. bit more relaxed. And we'll see you later, too, you little cutie. Who else is uh, moving around looking for something to eat? And the male juvenile coral cobra, captive bred and born here at the Lair, 2019, just before the uh, pandemic. Hi. Hi. Are you looking for something to eat? Huh? He is. I'm sure that his sister is would be also. <laughs> Here, let's see if he lunges forward. He's inching you know, forward. Hi there. I'm not, I'm not going to make you strike at something that you could get hurt on and stuff. Huh? Yeah, you were inching. You were getting ready. Guess what? I'm going to have to disappoint you. Hmm. Oh, he's not going to be happy. <laughs> and meanwhile, Mr. Coral Cobra has put some substrate on top of his head. It's a little crown of uh, a substrate. These are semi fossorial, so it's not unusual to have them burrow. <laughs> and then we got this girl over here. She's uh, head bobbing right next to her pile of poop. Yes, right on top of her poop. Oh, we, now you're very upset because we've moved away. The other, the boy is now quite upset. Oh, yeah, he's moved forward. He's like, where are you going? Wait, wait. Come back. I didn't get my tree. I've been so cute and you everything. opened the door and I didn't get anything. Look at him. For you right now, and you don't really need anything. Look, you can't even see your backbone. It is Squidalis, horned adder from South Africa. 
their patterns and colors and everything vary from region to region. These are, are quite adorable to keep, very difficult to come by. I know, I know you're upset. I know. Oh, he's very upset. <laughs> Lloyd's Cantiles. These guys have been sort of coming forward when food is offered. I guess not today. These were in the hot water too long, their guts are sort of coming forth. Okay, so let's feed Mr. Wacky Forest Culver, uh, water culver down here before he has a canary. He's got something in his gullet. Now, why are you, why are you making it difficult? Okay, don't bite your ass. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to bite your butt? Go get it. Go get it. There you go. Go get it. There you go. Good job. Can I have this? Huh? I would say that's a boy. There's almost no slendering after the anal scoot right there. It's all pretty much uniform. Normally we make a big deal about getting their tail, but you sort of gave me it willingly. Now, another interesting thing about the culbras is they have a conical scale at the end that if they're really upset with you, they will use it as a poker. And believe me, it hurts. Okay, so can you get your, uh, your junk in the cage? 